So in this example, two men go to the temple and they're praying, and one is a Pharisee and the other is a publican. And in the first example, the Pharisee stands and prays, talking about how he's thankful that he's better than other men, essentially. And he's glad that he's not an adulterer and that he's not unjust and he fasts all the time and he gives his money away. And then the publican stands a little ways further and he says, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And he, he feels bad. And, and Jesus says, that, that that one, the publican, is the one that's going to go uh, to, be, to be more justified than the first, even though on the surface, the first guy is the one doing all these great things, but he also is really caught up in his own righteousness and his own zeal. And I think it comes back to what we were saying earlier, which is the importance that Jesus places on our being humble and not claiming that we're all that and that we have things figured out. I think Jesus wants us to be teachable and seeking to grow. And it reminded me of when he came to the Nephites and he said, I don't want any more your burnt offerings or your sacrifices. What I want is a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And that's, I think, just an ongoing challenge for us. Like, like I said, to be meek and to be humble is to be open and to be teachable and, and, to, and to grow. It's not to be weak, but it's to be uh, on, you know, on this path of discipleship of growing and getting better. And I think that's why Jesus is pointing out this publican who's in this attitude of repentance, which is better than the attitude of arrogance. I'm just thinking how we should like, if we, if we think about like civic discourse, for instance, I think we should just agree that we're all terrible at following Jesus. Like we say we're trying, <laughs> but like, you know, the person who said, love your enemies, you know, like we're so bad at that. And that was like a basic thing mm -hmm. that Jesus said, right? But the, the basic things are super hard. And I think sometimes maybe because, you know, this took place 2,000 years ago in some other country, it's like easy for us to kind of like compartmentalize Jesus' teachings, be like, I won't be like those Pharisees. I won't be like those sinners, you know. I won't be like those crazy people that Jesus, you know, upbraided. I think your point is spot on, and I hear it even with some of the, the things we've heard from current day prophets and apostles in general conference, for example, talking sometimes about civic discourse and being patient and kind and not shifting into a contemptuous, angry mode. And then, of course, one of the things you hear is people say, yeah, the other side should do more of that. Right? <laughs> you know, and, and, I, you know, and it's like we still are struggling with this exact thing that Jesus talked about. <laughs>